Hello, welcome back, Freddy in the Shed. Right, let's get straight into this one. Now, I got a bit fed up with having to sort of book and then pay for a gardener to come round and prune my tree, so I thought I'd have a go myself. So I got in one of these Black & Decker 800 watt extendable pole saws. Now, there are all different types available, some with the sort of drive unit down at the handle, uh, and then you can have different sort of head attachments. This one's got the motor at the end of the pole, which I'll come to that in a minute. Um, chose Black & Decker because it's sort of quite a recognisable sort of make, and in hope that you can get some sort of spares for this uh, in the future. Now, I bought this from Amazon, um, cost just over £100 UK. Uh, delivered. I went back on just uh, before I made this video. It's currently sort of unavailable, but I'm sure they'll get some more back in the future. You can pick this up on sort of eBay anyway for about the same price. Now, I did do some research, read some of the reviews, and looked what other people were buying at the same time. And it became apparent that you do need to buy some chainsaw oil at the time of purchase. They don't supply any, unfortunately with the uh, saw itself and uh, also people definitely recommend some PPE some safety equipment so I picked myself up just a sort of a cheap visor to stop things sort of hitting me in the face and finally unlike uh, some other cheaper brands there are spares available for this saw so you can pick up things like a new chain uh, if you need one in the future happy that I'd made the right decision I went ahead and ordered this this came Amazon Prime so this was pretty much uh, sort of next day everything turned up absolutely fine now one thing I have to mention is the size of this box <laughs> if you're going to pick this up from the store you do need to sort of bear this in mind because it's quite a big box it uh, measures out at about 1 meter 84 centimeters or six foot in old money so uh, you know you've got to make sure you've got room to get that in the car once I open the box Initially, I will admit there was a little bit of disappointment here because straight away I could see there was some construction needed. It appeared that the sort of uh, chain part of the saw was not attached to the motor and you've got a little separate sort of box here. So it does look like, uh, yeah, there is a little bit of construction. That was disappointing so I just wanted to get this thing out of the box and sort of get on with it. So let's start looking at the instructions and to be honest, the instructions are very, very basic. This is rather like going back 10 or 15 years in my opinion. Uh, Bosch and other companies do this so much better with lots of sort of illustrations and sort of fold out sheets to help you sort of get started. So there is a lot of sort of reading to do here and in my, you know, my impression of reading instructions, um, it's down to interpretation and uh, you can make sort of mistakes sometimes. So I was a little bit disappointed with the uh, quality of the instructions on this item. In a nutshell, what you have to do is attach the sort of saw blade the chain part to the uh, to the motor so you know it's not too difficult um this might be a challenge for some people that aren't used to sort of you know sort of working with their hands constructing something um uh, once you sort of get into it it's not sort of too bad they do provide you with a sort of a, a spanner a 13 mil spanner so you've only got i really undo sort of uh, one nut to get inside this head. Um, yeah, it takes a little bit of time, probably took about sort of 15 minutes or so to sort of uh, do this job. One thing I wasn't particularly happy with was the tension inside. There is a tension screw which has a threaded sort of bolt which puts the tension onto the sort of chain itself. They recommend that you get about sort of three mil of tension. I found that this screw become uh, pretty tight very sort of early on and it was quite difficult to get that amount of tension on the chain. So I was hoping that it sort of wouldn't come off but I'm pleased to say that sort of it didn't so yeah yeah I was you know to be honest I was a little bit disappointed that I think they could have sort of done this at the factory I, I couldn't really see the point of making you sort of do this extra task before you can get on and use the tool a final task that you have to do before you can use the saw is you need to add chain oil now unfortunately they don't supply you with uh, any chain oil, so there's something else you have to buy on top. Thankfully, it's not too expensive, but it's absolutely vital that you do not run the saw without sort of chain oil. And there's a little reservoir there you fill up. It uh, automatically feeds itself, so once you've got the, uh, the oil on there, you don't have to worry. But they do recommend that you sort of coat the chain initially and sort of the drive channel there. You coat that with chain oil as well to stop any sort of friction wear. In general, just sort of looking around at all, the build quality, you know, isn't too bad. It's probably not the best build quality, but for the money, I think it's sort of quite acceptable. The adjustment here for the uh, sort of angle of the blade seems sort of quite rugged. And I especially did like the power lead. It's not particularly long, probably about sort of two meters, but it is nice and thick and rubberized and does appear to be a good quality. 
So here's it running for the first time and you can sort of see all that extra oil flaying off in all directions. So you want to do this in a sort of an open space. And then finally in the box is a sort of rather thin but it's effective um, plastic cover that sort of slides over the chain part of the tool itself so it can keep it sort of dry and dust free when you're not using it. Finally, here's me getting on with the job pruning this tree. It's not exactly a pretty tree, is it? It never has been. It's a bit of a weird sort of shape. Um, what did I think of it? Well, firstly, there is the weight of the tool. Now, the tool weighs in at four and a half kilograms, which isn't all that much, but all of the weight is pretty much at the end of the pole, especially when you extend it up to its maximum length of 2.5 meters. Um, this can make the tool a little bit sort of awkward to use at first. It takes a bit of getting used to. You don't want to sort of kind of tip it too far from the upright position because it can be sort of quite heavy unless you're kind of Jeff Capes and you're a big kind of guy. Um, but once you sort of get used to it, yeah, I mean, it goes through sort of tree, tree branches, just like a hot knife through butter. I was cutting through branches here up to about uh, two inches, 50 millimeters in diameter and absolutely no problem straight through it. Very, very impressed with the performance. Overall, um, I really enjoyed using this tool. I found it quite addictive, surprisingly, sort of chopping around a tree. It's not until you look on the ground that you realize how much is sort of coming down. Now, one thing that is absolutely essential, you are gonna need some form of PPE, some sort of safety equipment. And this visor really, really was good um, because one or two of the branches did sort of graze me on the head, if you like, as they sort of come falling down. So you do need to take a special bit of care with this tool. Now, you know, the first time that I've ever really sort of pruned a tree with one of these sort of chainsaws on a pole. And uh, yeah, it's surprising. It didn't take all that long. I really did take my time, but I did the whole thing in probably around about sort of an hour. But of course, uh, you know, what comes down you need to get rid of. And I've probably looking at about two hours of shredding here to get rid of this lot. So I decided to call it a day. Could have done a bit more, but I uh, figured I would quit whilst I was ahead. So what are my conclusions? Well, I think for the money asked at just over £100, it's certainly good value. I mean, I'm paying probably for more than that for a gardener to come around and prune the tree. So it's paid for itself in one go. The build quality is okay. I think the only bit I was disappointed with, I didn't really enjoy having to uh, put the blade on the end of the tool at the beginning. I think it'd be much better if they sort of supplied that already constructed. And also it would fit in the box because when you come to store it, of course, now you've got the blade fitted, it no longer fits in the box. But uh, yeah, overall, a good tool, a little bit heavy to use maybe for some if you're getting on in years, but as long as you sort of take your time, um, you should be absolutely fine with this okay well i hope you've enjoyed this review um please subscribe to fred in the shed there's more reviews coming up for things like this but uh, as for now i'd like to say cheers thanks for your view time stay safe and of course i'll catch you all on the next one